Can the Avengers beat Doomsday? They're Earth's mightiest heroes. They've consistently taken down world-ending threats. But this is Doomsday, the most powerful villain in the DCEU. On top of that, this monster is the reason why the Justice League got together in the first place. So what if he had to take on a different set of Earth's mightiest heroes? Sure, he killed Superman, but what about the Hulk? Yeah, he's fought against Wonder Woman, but what about Thor? Well, that's the question today. And so we're gonna analyze everybody's strengths and weaknesses, powers and abilities, how well the Avengers work as a team and how much of a force of destruction Doomsday really is, all to find out who wins in the battle arena. Let's get to it. What's up guys, I'm Daniel and this is Danco. We do fight breakdowns every week, plus the occasional power ranking video like this one or things like that. So if that seems interesting to you, we'll sit back and enjoy the video. Hit that like button. If you want to, go hit the subscribe button while you're at it. Now let's get to it. But wait, before we get into it, we'll actually talk about continuity here for a second. See, there are a ton of projects in the MCU with more pumping out each and every day. And so there have been a ton of different versions of the Avengers too. Like sometimes it's just hard to keep track of Who's still on the team? Who's still alive? Who hasn't turned into a villain yet? What's everybody's power level at at this particular moment in time? Do they have any magical power-ups? Have they passed on the mantle? All that, it can get a little confusing. So what we're gonna do is divide them all up and look at each phase's version of the Avengers and see if that phase's version can beat Doomsday. I'm probably overcomplicating it, just maybe, but we'll see how it goes. But wait, before we get started, I wanna to talk to you about our friends at Skillshare. Skillshare is basically a giant online community where you can learn any skill you'd want to, hence the name. And with the new year coming up, now is the perfect time to learn a new skill and invest in yourself. And with a Skillshare membership, you can engage in your passions or pick up a new hobby. And this isn't the typical ad that you're gonna see around Christmas, more stuff more clutter, more consumption. No, this is about you, your passions, your creativity, your curiosities, your growth, and doing something for yourself all year long. Like I've been going through a class taught by another YouTuber, Marcus Brownlee, and it's amazing going through how he scripts, how he shoots, how he edits his videos, and it's so, so good. Also going through another one that talks about Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere, and that's amazing too. And no matter what your skill level, there is something here for you, I promise. And if you use my code now, well, the first 1,000 people will be able to get a month free of Skillshare. And it's not all about YouTube and video editing. There are also classes on business and finances and self-improvement and music and indoor plants and anything that you could possibly want, you will find it here. So if you really wanna start learning that skill that you've always wanted to, well, now is your chance. Click the link below and the first 1,000 people will get a free month trial. And thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to the video. All right, now starting out, let's talk about Doomsday. I won't kill God. Two, one. The devil will do it. Ancient Kryptonian deformity. Blood of my blood. Born to destroy you. your doomsday. Now God is good as dead. Okay. Calm down there, weirdo. That's a little much. You don't want to be going that hard. But yeah, doomsday is the reanimated, the deformed corpse of General Zod, brought back by Lex Luthor in an ancient, weird Kryptonian blood ritual we're gonna try and end Superman. I guess it's also technically Lex's son. Blood of my blood, flesh of my flesh and all that. And I'm not sure how parenting works out here exactly, but Lex should be a proud dad because this is a monster. Strong, fast, and tough. Doomsday's ability to absorb energy and evolve as he fights all combines to make him a terrifying opponent. And it'll take Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman's best effort, and more, 
sort of put the beast down. Although this is the greatest example of that one guy who doesn't do anything on the group project, but yeah, still shows up at the end and gets an A, because Batman is not doing anything in the fight here at all. He is moral support at best. I'm not even sure how great of moral support he is. He just tried to kill Superman. He doesn't even pretend to know who Wonder Woman is. The dude is just full on a mess out there. So Doomsday's strength might be what you could call infinitely incalculable. Except that's totally not actually true. It's not infinite and you can definitely calculate it. I'm just saying he's really, really strong. Strong enough to overpower Superman. Strong enough to overpower Wonder Woman. Strong enough to literally send these two flying all around with his punches and do stuff like this throughout the entire fight too. But outside of strength, well, Doomsday is also crazy tough. I mean, he was able to take punches and attacks from both Superman and Wonder Woman, quickly recovered and acted like nothing had happened. That should be enough already. He took punches from the two true heavy hitters in the DCEU and acted like nothing had happened. But on top of that, well, he survived large explosions. And oh yeah, a nuclear bomb. A freaking nuclear bomb. I mean, just look at that. Doomsday fell back down to Earth and was just right back at it. Just wrecking Gotham. As if all the poverty and crime wasn't enough, now they gotta deal with this shit. And after Superman stabbed him all the way through with the kryptonite spear, he was still able to live on, just power through, and kill Superman himself. But the real trick here is that that's not all. Doomsday's got a healing factor. I mean, when Wonder Woman cut off his hand with her sword, just packed it right off, well, what did Doomsday do? He regrew his hand. No harm, no foul, no biggie, he just regrew it. On top of that, as if strength and durability wasn't enough, Doomsday's also pretty freaking fast. I mean, just look at him catching and dodging Superman and Wonder Woman and all that. I'm not saying that Doomsday is gonna like speed blitz the Avengers or anything like that, but it's an advantage. And if you just keep on stacking little advantages on top of each other, well, that results in a win, maybe. And speaking of other little advantages, Doomsday also has his energy powers. He's able to send out these energy pulses that level everything around him. Just one blast can level a few city blocks or destroy a small island that can be seen from outer space and even push back Superman and Wonder Woman. He's got heat vision that blasted back Wonder Woman a couple of times and even blasted back Superman, overpowering his own heat vision in the process. Basically, Doomsday just woke up one day and immediately chose violence. And he's got the strength, the speed, and the power, the durability to make that happen. And now let's talk about them Avengers. So phase one Avengers were Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, Captain America, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. Like the core, core group. And if we're throwing them up against Doomsday, against this big guy, well, I think we're throwing Captain America, kicking out Hawkeye, getting rid of Black Widow because this is Doomsday. None of them are doing anything against a giant rage monster who can survive a nuke. I mean, even Iron Man ain't doing much either. I mean, sure, now he can fight against Thanos, but way back in phase one? Well, some of them ain't much. Others can fight against Thor, and he can do pretty good against the Chitauri, but Doomsday can take a nuke. He can punch Superman through buildings. I don't think Iron Man is gonna survive this fight. So it's really just genuinely Hulk and Thor. And phase one Hulk? Well, he's a little scary. He's really, really strong, 
really, really tough, really, really ferocious, and just a little feisty. Like this might be the closest to Savage Hulk we've ever gotten in the MCU. And Thor, well, this is Thor at his weakest. But how weak is a god? He can destroy the Bifrost, crack apart Jotunheim. He's still got some impressive feats. But I don't think this Hulk in this Thor is going to be enough to beat this Doomsday. I just don't. Doomsday is stronger than Superman. I think he's stronger than Hulk and stronger than Thor too. Doomsday is still tougher than Hulk, especially with that healing factor. And Doomsday can just straight up absorb Thor's lightning. That can't be good. Even Mjolnir. Well, I don't think that's going to be any more effective at killing Doomsday than Wonder Woman's sword was. Ring that bell, because Doomsday is beating this Avengers team. So that's bring in the next one. So the Avengers are all the original Avengers, except with new and improved feats. And now we've got Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, Vision, War Machine, and Falcon thrown into the mix too. So all these guys. And again, we can get rid of like half of them right off the bat. Captain America, Black Widow, Hawkeye, gorgeous and glorious as they are. Get them out of here. Falcon, get out of here. Quicksilver, buddy, what are you doing? What is your plan here? Sure, you're super fast, but you try and punch Doomsday one time and you're going to break every single bone in your body. What are you doing? You're done. You're out. And so that leaves us with these six. Iron Man, Hulk, Vision, Scarlet Witch, War Machine, and Thor. And we could just go ahead and get rid of War Machine too. His stories are just too lame. He's too low key. He just hasn't done enough. Nope, out of here. Doomsday is gonna kill him. So that leaves us with these five then. Now Iron Man, well, we can give him Hulkbuster armor. The same armor that was able to beat down Hulk at arguably Hulk's angriest. I'm sorry. Hulk is still ridiculously strong and ridiculously tough too. He'll be a pain for Doomsday to put down. Thor's now got the power to destroy cities. This is probably the strongest version of Vision that we've seen in the MCU. Just a little robot baby, fresh out of the cradle, ready to wreak some havoc. And then of course, Scarlet Witch. Potentially a game wrecker. Even at this point, she could tear apart Vibranium and get inside of Hulk's head and mind control him. So even just those two things, you take from that and you say, oh, well, she can hurt Doomsday and she can probably mind control Doomsday too. Only while there's a chance that she just goes fully psycho and goes unleashed. There's also a chance that she just ends up hiding in a corner somewhere during the fight and not really contributing. I call that one pulling a Batman. And of course, Hawkeye could always show up and give her a little pep talk but odds are he probably died a long time ago. So if Wanda can get in a good headspace for the fight, then I actually think the Avengers are sitting pretty. Scarlet Witch can mind control Doomsday and all the other Avengers can distract him long enough to make that happen. But if that's not the case and Scarlet Witch goes out too soon, well then at best it's a tie. Yes, these Avengers are more powerful than phase one Avengers, but this is still doomsday. He still killed Superman. You're telling me that he can't still kill Thor? Yeah, that's what I thought. And whenever you're in a tie situation with doomsday, well, that really just means that doomsday wins. It just takes a little longer than normal. The Avengers don't have a clear way to put doomsday down outside of Scarlet Witch. They just don't. They can't throw anything at him that he hasn't already taken before or can heal from. The Avengers will get weaker, more tired, and Doomsday will just keep on getting stronger. And since this is all depending on Scarlet Witch's sanity, 
which at this point is already dangling by a thread, well then I think I gotta give it to Doomsday like 60-40. Holy crap, phase three. This is where the Avengers like truly get unleashed. All the original Avengers, so put these six over here. All the phase two Avengers, yeah, they're all still here too. Well, except for Quicksilver. Ugh. Sorry, bud. But then here are all the newcomers as well. Ant-Man, Captain Marvel, Spider-Man, Black Panther, and Doctor Strange. That's a lot of firepower that we're working with here. And if Doomsday were just barely scraping by in phase two, well then there's no way it's gonna make it out of phase three alive. It's gonna be a bloodbath. Kryptonite spear or no kryptonite spear. Now we still got some people that aren't gonna make it all the way here. Some heroes are still going down. Black Widow, nope. Hawkeye, get out of here. Falcon, not a chance. Black Panther, Spider-Man, probably even Ant-Man or Giant-Man. Boom, boom, boom. Back to the dust you go. Only one who makes it out is Captain America, and that's just because he has a fancy new toy in Mjolnir. Like phase one Thor, phase two Thor, that's just phase three Captain America now. And he's not the only one who got a nice little upgrade over this phase. Iron Man got stronger. He can now fight against Thanos. Hulk got stronger. He can now fight against Surtur. Thor got a whole heck of a lot stronger. He's swinging around Stormbreaker and he's gonna be able to do some damage. Sure, Doomsday might end up just healing back, but those limbs are still coming off. That head might still be coming off. Vision is weaker now. This guy is struggling out here. But that's made up for because Scarlet Witch is now a whole heck of a lot stronger. Like before we were wondering if Scarlet Witch was even going to be able to participate in the fight. Well now it's just a question of when Scarlet Witch tries her best to rip Doomsday in half. She killed her robot boyfriend and suddenly there's just no turning back. She is out for blood. And then there are the two newcomers to the fight, Captain Marvel and Doctor Strange. And if we're being honest with ourselves, both of them could fight against Doomsday on their own. Captain Marvel is one of the most powerful heroes here. She's crazy strong. She's faster than light. She can unleash some crazy cosmic powers, can take any punch you throw at her. Carol is basically just like Superman over in BVS. So when Superman try to take Doomsday up into outer space? Well, yeah, that would be something that Captain Marvel would do too. Throw her alongside the rest of the Avengers as well? Well, that's just way too much. But it's still not enough, because Doctor Strange is here now too. And that means potentially throwing Doomsday into the mirror dimension, or literally any other dimension. And it means the Time Stone. Because yeah, Strange still has it in pretty much all of Phase 3. And with the Time Stone, well that means freezing time, rewinding time, creating time loops, controlling all time, all together. Doomsday can't really do much of anything here. Thor and Hulk can fight against him, Scarlet Witch can tear him a new one, Captain Marvel is basically just Superman but with and Doctor Strange can separate Doomsday from time altogether. Phase three is a bloodbath. And then we get to phase four, where there just are no Avengers. I mean, there definitely are Avengers, like we've seen them around, but at the same time, we have no idea who is on the team anymore. So here's what we'll do instead. We'll just take all the new heroes, and throw them at Doomsday, see how they do. So that means we've got this lineup for phase four. Thor, Hulk, Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, Miss Marvel, Hawkeye, Kate Bishop, Yelena Belova, Shang-Chi, Moon Knight, She-Hulk, Black Panther, Ironheart. A lot of heroes. And actually, three Spider-Men now too, so that's fun. And we've lost Iron Man, 
Steve Rogers, Black Widow, Vision, like twice. And we lost Scarlet Witch too, mostly because we lost Vision and she lost her mind. And we're gonna lose a crap ton more heroes in this fight too. Like Captain America, Elena Belova, Kate Bishop, Miss Marvel, you know they're all out of here, not a chance. Shang-Chi and his rings? Uh, Doomsday's gonna kill you. Moon Knight? I hope Khonshu can save you because Doomsday isn't holding back. Black Panther and Ironheart? Well, y'all are way too new and way too raw and y'all are not making out of here. Spider-Man? Any of the Spider-Man? Yeah, that's not gonna work either. So that means we've got Thor, Hulk, Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, and She-Hulk. Uh, not really She-Hulk because it's She-Hulk. What's she gonna do? Go talk to Kevin? Doomsday's DC, that's not gonna work. She can't even tag Daredevil. There's absolutely no way she is beating Doomsday. So Thor, Hulk, Doctor Strange, and Captain Marvel. And you could actually argue that phase four felt like it downgraded each of these heroes. They all felt more powerful in phase three, but they're still powerful enough to beat Doomsday here. Thor has proven enough over the years to show he can fight on power of Doomsday. Hulk has shown enough to prove he can fight against Doomsday too, even though he would probably still lose. Sorry, Marvel fans. And Captain Marvel has shown enough to prove she can fight Doomsday too. Combine all three of these guys together and Doomsday is not winning that fight, especially with Doctor Strange operating in the background and just making Doomsday's life a living hell. Yeah, it might've been more of a bloodbath in phase three, but Avengers in phase four are still pulling out the victory. Doomsday might be one of the most powerful threats on earth, but that's the exact reason why the Avengers exist. To beat the threats that no hero can defeat on their own. To beat the most powerful heroes on earth. To beat the Doomsdays. And it looks like, for the most part, they can do it here too. But what do y'all think? Sound off in the comments down below. I know you're going to have thoughts and feelings on this one for sure. If you stuck around this long and made it to the end of the video, that's amazing. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting us. And if you want to go subscribe, well, go subscribe. You're going to see more videos like this one every single week. I'll see y'all then. I'll see y'all next time.